today. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles taking on Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. Open back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tennessee Titans and the Philadelphia Eagles. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field fielded just outside the goal line and he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team 10th overall in the NFL Ryan Tannehill I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw, Tannehill. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Tannehill now to throw. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Now for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. 
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. He'll look to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. And the Titans are going to get it back here just past the 35. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry, and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second down, they go again with Henry. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Here's Tannehill. Flushed out right. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. draw play. This is Henry. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll run it again with Henry. 
And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Let's get off. Now Tannehill. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Tannehill to the sideline. Randy Bullock out now for the Tennessee field goal. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. Bullock's kick is good. And the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. So the defense able to force the interception and the offense working their way into field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides will be thrilled with that. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, Look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. It's a second down run with Sanders. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. They'll look to throw here. Throw left side complete. Brad Smith. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. again on second down. Hurts. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. 
back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off for big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. He'll drop to throw. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's going to get this down near the 25. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. On second and goal, Hurts toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. When you run into slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available in incompletion as a result. This Titan defense, they just will not give in easily. Looking for another stop, third and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the lead. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it ends with a three yard scoring run. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Out come the Titans now. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. 
they'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 21. He'll start with a give to Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Henry again on second down. It's a loss of four. Now third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. To throw is Tannehill. That's caught over the middle, Hooper. And he's gonna get this one across the 30-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. He'll get that one to Carter complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. And as a quarterback, you're always pleased when you can use all the weapons at your disposal. Here he spots his fullback underneath, gets the completion right there for a nice pickup. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. To throw again on second down, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When they talk about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. Here's Tannehill. That's caught by Hollister. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Eluding the pressure right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Tannehill, and he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Tannehill throwing again. And that will be incomplete as well. Another good drive. 
Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. Bullock's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. first down with Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Watkins. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. Smith. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll look to throw again. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Back to throw again. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, and it's third down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 28. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get him with 10 seconds to go before halftime. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. The kick by Elliott is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell us, end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. Taking it about the one. On the return, Dontrell Hilliard. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play so we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point and you gotta expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. with the lead and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway and the half will begin with a touchback out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter this offense set to begin the third quarter and Charles if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead and they've got that here that's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. It was Bud Dupree fighting through and making the tackle. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. 
He'll look to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now it's third and three. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Over the middle here to Brown. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there defensively. That's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Kevin Byard up to make the tackle. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second down, back to Sanders. Oh, good move. It's over, it's over, it's over. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. First down, Hurts. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. First and ten, it's Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the ten. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Let's go, right here. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show pass in formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On the draw, here's Sanders. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. 
Setting up the screen with Gainwell. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. And I know that one didn't work out the way they thought, but I don't think it was a bad time to call this play. You're thinking on third down, you might possibly see some pressure. You might see a blitz. So they tried to set up the screen, but that one was well read, and they stopped them for no gain. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Elliott is good. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13-6. Defensive perspective that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. And all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. And I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. From the 31, Tannehill, and finding the tight end, Hooper. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Third and two, Tannehill. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. offense set to begin their next drive their defense got the stop forced the punt and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead and Sanders with a carry on first down as he picks his way forward for a gain of five 
And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On second down, there's the option going left. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Hurts. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And the return will stop them well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. Team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines and all of a sudden they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Dancing to his left. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Here's Tannehill. Henry's got it out on the left side. So the completion good for seven there. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. But with his size coming out of the backfield, usually takes more than an arm tackle to get him down. That's why they like to get him involved in the passing game. No doubt about it. You saw him running that angle route there and catching the ball. And with his size, not often thought to have hands. But we're hearing that more and more. Guys are doing a better job. And Henry's hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. 
He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. On first down, Tannehill. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset they come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire don't need it all back at once but you figure they're going to need something here 17 yards to go on second down Another try after the first down sack. Tannehill, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Javon Hargrave in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. So third and long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. Here's Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And he is going to pick up the Titans first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. First down now, but that clock rolling. Being chased out left. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And once he got out of the pocket, you thought that maybe he'd take off with it, especially here in the two-minute drill. Sometimes defenses are focused so much downfield that there's room to run, but this time he decided to throw it unsuccessfully. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Tannehill. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, 
Let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. And he is going to pick up the Titans first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Now Tannehill. This will go to Henry out wide. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Tannehill to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his home. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. On third down, Henry. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now it's Tannehill. Flush to his right. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it, go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now, have the momentum? Go ahead and get it done. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. And we may very well be headed to overtime. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And the touchdown and PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. All square now at 13 all as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win.
the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And we have free football over time. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So it's the Titans who will control the football first here in overtime as we're back underway. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Well, they fought hard to reach this point, Charles, and now what an opportunity. They've got the ball first, a chance to take this overtime win away from the hostile crowd. And you know as the quarterback steps into the huddle, the first thing he's telling his team is, remember, we need six, not three. So we don't need a good drive. We need a great drive. And this is what they've been planning for. It's time to execute and take it downfield, even against all these odds. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. He wasn't able to really get anything going in regulation. Maybe it'll be a little different story here in overtime. And it appears that with that call, they want to establish the run in overtime, try and set the tone for what they're going to get done. And you're right, maybe it didn't work so well in regulation. Overtime could be the charm. And by the way, the yards count either way. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. First down carry for Henry. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. They go with the ground game, pick up the first, now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality of a play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50, they feel like they're in the strike zone. All right, You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to him. And now this first drive in OT continues. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. First throw in overtime for Tannehill. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. And a costly, costly mistake. Coaches talk so much about ball security and in overtime so paramount. Darwin, do you ever wonder, maybe they talk about it too much? Too much, yeah. It doesn't seem like you can, but maybe by discussing it time and time again, and you know they overemphasized it here, it almost became self-fulfilling. And any points beat them here. Field goal or a touchdown now. Of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Now a first throw here in overtime. It's caught Smith. He's brought down in the red zone at the 18 after a gain of 18. First and 10. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. 
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's Hurts. And all oh, this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Second and 12. Another run here with Sanders. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his hurts. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. shotgun he'll look to throw back of the end zone could he get his feet down no it's incomplete Brandon I go ahead and kick it right now I know it's only second down but I kick it and get myself a little margin for error here don't wait for third have the extra down just in case if something goes wrong miss messed up snap anything like that you fall on it guess what it's third down you still have the ball you still have a chance to kick it second down and goal hurts and this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. So the game-winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, weren't we, Parker? That we were, and I just love being able to be witness to a game like this all the way through. Who's going to win it? Oh, what? We're getting overtime? Great for us. A lot of tension on the field. Very tough. Not surprised it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL. But the execution was pretty darn good. But Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.